Welcome to Virginia. Or as it says in the top left, welcome to Kingdom, the grandest little town in Virginia. So that's the town where this game takes place. I think the story is ostensibly about two FBI agents investigating a disappearance. But from what I've heard from a review, it kind of pulls the carpet out from under you multiple times and becomes things that you never would have expected it to become. Yeah, so just to set sort of expectations, yours and mine, because I haven't played it yet, um, it is apparently incredibly baffling. Um, I've heard it's very hard to understand what's actually happening, so <laughs> we'll try our best and see how we do. It's apparently pretty short, I think it's somewhere around two to three hours long, and it's uh, very linear. So it's not like a, you know, choose your own ending or anything like that kind of thing. I think it has a story it wants to tell and it tells it, which I'm perfectly fine with, but just trying to keep all that in mind, it's going to be an interesting ride from what I've heard. So let's begin. This is resume feature because I've played for just a couple minutes to tweak settings and stuff like that. So instead of that, we're going to go to main title chapter select. Should restart it. During the summer of 1992, the FBI undertook an investigation in a small town in Virginia. Based on the official records of events, the following story was written. Something I think I forgot to mention in the menu is that Virginia definitely seems very inspired by Twin Peaks. I mean, there's even a little place on the map in the main menu that's called the Roadhouse, which is definitely a reference to Twin Peaks, but even just the small town setting and apparently strange things happening in it and even the synth music in the menu reminds me of Twin Peaks, which really excites me because I love Twin Peaks. 
and the beginning music was amazing. All right. The music even now is amazing. Just, oh. Just from what little I've seen, it's gorgeous. Um, so I know that I need to put on my lipstick. But before that, it looks like I'm scared, doesn't it? Like, I seem to be breathing really hard. Nervous, I guess. And everything's got this reverby sound. As if I'm like distant from my body or something. It feels odd. Things definitely don't feel right. Was a memory. What's this now? Guess another memory. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, this view. If you go up and down, it just tilts. What am I wearing? I can't tell. God, I love the mood of this so far. Was I say Tarver? Floppy disks. Hi.
Uh oh. Strange dreams, I'm sure it's more than that. So far, this sounds and looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to go to the menu for a second. I want to point out, uh, this is the roadhouse here. And this whole, this whole map is just gorgeous to look at, and there's interesting things all over the place. I think I'll take a look at this once we're a little bit more familiar with the town, so see if we can spot some of the things. But I think I went a little bit overboard with the subtitles. Because I don't know if there's any spoken dialogue. It seems like there might not be. So maybe we don't need it. I was expecting it to be for dialogue only, not for just like sounds too. So I was seeing myself in that bed, wasn't I? Assuming I was still playing the same person. Oh! Oh, that's cool. It just, like, skipped right to the end of my morning routine. left to do lipstick yeah or not This is definitely the apartment, just as it seemed in the the dream or whatever that was. It's exactly the same. I love these cuts. Monday. First day on the case. Hmm? What was that? almost looked like part of the key that we saw at the very beginning when that person was locking that box. Oh, the synth. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> this reminds me of the, like, detective's room or police precinct room, I guess, in Indigo Prophecy. Like a bunch of open desks and then some closed desks with the doors to get to them on the side of the room. I don't know, maybe it's a common setup. of the assistant director. All right, Cole, tell me the job you got for me. I don't think the name is actually Cole, but I imagine they're Gordon Cole. Of 
Lord McCarran. Alright, what do we got here? FBI reporting op oh I didn't even get a chance to read it. All right then. I saw Quantico. It's from Quantico, some sort of report, obviously confidential. Well, I guess we got a job to do. I guess that's all I need to know. Probably not going this way. No. down some creepy hallways. Halperin. Seem like they were too happy to see me. Guess Halperin doesn't like that we're working this case together. Virginia in the double R. I'm just gonna call everything as if it's Twin Beaks. <laughs> Guess I'm taking the bill. So yeah, Lucas Fairfax, I guess, is the person who's gone missing, but judging by the fact that we, both me and um, Halperin got a, like, Quantico top secret file or something, there's obviously more to the case than just a simple missing person. Do we need to 
come in on this conversation? Or do I need to... Probably need to explore the house while they're talking. Separate beds? Ah. Lucas's room. Camera? Could have something good on it? I still can't get over how gorgeous this game is and it looks and sounds. What, what are we doing? Is there a secret, like, chamber behind here? Why did I do that? this? Whoa. Dark room for developing photos? Hmm. That red light reminds me of what we saw behind that door in the dream. Wasn't it a door like this? where you could see through it and it was harsh red light coming through. So I wonder if that was remembering this. I also wonder if perhaps Lucas took a picture of something that he shouldn't have. If you look here, there's an Air Force base up here and it says, I mean, let's just read this, these little facts here. They're kind of interesting. The Town of Kingdom was founded on September 28th, 1774 and celebrated every year as Founders Day. The U.S. Air Force established a base outside of town August 4th, 1974. The Kingdom's small granite mine closed in 1965. So yeah, it's an Air Force base established relatively recently. wonder if something odd was going on there. the water tower. Them and... Not sure who that is. Two people sitting at maybe the diner? Well, one person looks like maybe they're a general or something, given what they're wearing. Maybe they're in the Air Force. Is there anything I need to press in here? Ah, diary. Just hope they give me time to read it this time. <laughs> See that every day.
can I get out to? Hmm? What was that about? Big Rico's. Rico's specialty pizzas. Hmm? Okay. Best slice in town. Why am I looking at this? Does that have some significance that I'm going to find out about later? Maria Halperin. It's my partner. Maria... Ortega? Different last names? Married recently or changed names or... The fuck? There goes Bobby Briggs. So was that file about Maria Halperin? It looked like their photo. Why would I receive a file about my partner? Okay, sitting in bed, got all our things, including, but this looks like the handle that broke up, apparently broke off from the rest of that key from that box at the beginning. Don't know what that's about. That's so weird how when I turn my camera like this, it's, oh, oh, ugh. All right. What did you write, Lucas? Visit Cannon Observatory, Science Center, Exhibition of Space Technologies, Theater of the Stars, Parking Lot, Refreshments. Hmm, picture of a UFO. And what looks like an alien or something in a great tunnel under the earth or something. That might be the granite mines. What the? Just fell asleep. Um, I guess I'm having an out of body experience again? What am I wearing though? Who am I? I I'm not wearing the same thing that I am there. It's odd. Okay, that picture we keep seeing... Ah, that picture's this. That, like, we keep seeing that in pictures. That, like, bubble type thing. That is inside the Air Force base. Is that red again? Another vision? I mean, this is a dream, obviously. It's absurd. I mean, <clears throat> the waiter's here. Susan, <laughs> taking our order. And all the policemen and the family of the kid who went missing. Why are you hammering their door? Why are you trying to block people from getting in there? They're crying. Is that the asshole who gave me the finger? Is that or is that Lucas or? Oh, 
Oh, you are definitely that character from Twin Peaks whose name I forgot. One played by Lara Flynn, Flynn Boyle. I forgot their name, I'm sorry. You're the person I saw in the photograph at the diner that Lucas had. Who are you? Maria? I guess I'll snoop. This game is so gorgeous. Look at how fluffy and smooth everything is. I bet all that grass is made of microfiber. Why did I just rip that? Okay, looking at what I'm wearing now, this looks like what I was wearing in the dream. Or the out-of-body experience. On the bed? This looks the same, so I think it was me. Yep, there's the Air Force Base. That's the thing I was thinking of up there. That is this. So we are... We're here, I guess. The old... The old... What was it? Granite? Yeah, the old granite mine. Why am I picking these? This one's different. Are there more? Is that one over there? I think it is, yeah. Why am I picking these? <laughs> They're all different colors.
think that's it. U.S. Air Force installation. It's unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. Use of deadly force authorized. Oh, this would be the tunnel we saw in that one drawing of, like, the alien or the figure, the humanoid figure. Oh, I love the walking sounds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Maria. I'll be there in a couple minutes. Listen to that. Did Lucas set this up? This is fancy. <laughs> Lights powered by a car battery. I guess Lucas and his friends, I guess. Cans of beer and cigarettes, their little hideout. Traffic cone. I'm just taking everything. What the? Hi. What are you doing in there? And why are there so many cages? It's a friendly bird. They didn't die. Thanks for the coffee. Okay, they didn't. What about the bird, though? Well, oh, looks like that general we saw in the picture, or at least it was one of them. Similar uniforms. I don't remember if they had gray hair or not. No, little Burb didn't make it. Why is Burb here, though, in the morgue? What? Is this actually happening? What the hell's real and what's not? That is odd. Going back? Guess the cool friends are hanging out there. Can I turn their music off? That'd be hilarious. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, I just remember their name, Donna. You must be Donna. Really? Did you think that was gonna work?
Switchblade. Hmm. No ID? Hmm. Suspicious. No ID on a switchblade. Oh. oh, there's something there. Dominion Construction Retail Complex and Commercial Hub. Preparing for Guest County for the 21st century. Space for 240 stores, family restaurants, and event facilities. Parking for over 1,000 automobiles. What's that little thing that fell out? Is that a bunch of tiny birds? Like the one we just saw? It is. No? Hmm? What? The hell did I just do with that? Why? What? Oh, my flowers all around the place now? I see one. If so, that's a cool little bit of interactivity. See, I'm... Oh, I'm living on Big Rico's Pizza. Oh, is that because I took the flyer? Would this not be here if I didn't take the Big Rico's flyer? That's cool. So I guess you do have like a little bit of interactivity for stuff you can optionally do. Yeah, there's another one. I picked, um, how many did I pick? Three or four? That's two. There must be at least one more. There's a third one. I guess there's only three. Or the other one's in the bathroom and I just can't go in there yet. What time is it? Um, I think this is 1.15 a.m. I'm assuming. I mean, it must be because it's dark. Piece of that key. What will we dream tonight? This is another dream. It sounds odd. Why am I in here alone? Well, anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Yeah, so just initial thoughts. I love it so far. It is intriguing. It is gorgeous. It sounds fantastic. I'm really into it. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon to see what's going on with Wednesday. <laughs>